Welcome to another video blog of Journey to the Last Frontier. This is a follow-up blog post, a follow-up video to um, Don't Eat the Yellow Snow and other water purification techniques. Obviously, when out and about, um, water is very important and definitely don't eat the yellow snow. Having said that, humans can survive um, basically three minutes without oxygen. They could survive up to three weeks without food, but really only up to uh, three days without water. So going hiking, backpacking, even on a day trip, it's really important to make sure you have clean, safe drinking water with you. Not just taking a, you know, a, a bottle of water or even a, a, a little flask of water, one of those camelback things. Those are really important to make sure you, you stay hydrated. But what happens if um, you get stuck out on a trail overnight or you break a leg or something and you're really stuck out there for longer than the water that you have? How are you going to purify drinking water so you could have water and not worry about getting debilitating diseases, E. coli, bacteria, diarrhea, or other, uh, other diseases that could be lurking or viruses and bacteria in uh, unsafe drinking water. Ah, that was good. Well, there are three tried and true methods of doing that. The, um, one of the easiest ways to always have when you're traveling uh, wherever is water purification tablets. I, I have, let me move it here. I have several of these little jars, the little pills. This is an unopened jar, so I'm not gonna pop the seal. Um, and basically two tablets, uh, one liter of water. And this will purify uh, water to making it drinkable where there, there will be no um, smell or coloration. I have used these after hurricanes here in South Florida when we're under a boil water um, alert. So this makes it very easy. If you don't want to boil water and then cool it down, this you can just purify water and 10, 15 minutes later it is drinkable. Uh, another great option uh, besides having the water tablets in your backpack or first aid kit is having what is uh, a life straw. I have several of these including in my um, bug out bag and, and all of that stuff. Basically, this here is a multi-level filter that filters out all kinds of bacteria, E. coli, uh, things that cause dysentery, diarrhea. The technology is really simple. It has a carbon filter as well as another filter built inside. The trick to using these in the field, you do not want to get any of these exposed surfaces, the threading or uh, the where you drink the water from exposed to potentially contaminated water. So you would dip the water, dip this in the water. You can make sure there's no sediment or gravel or whatever, whether it's a stream, a river, a lake, a puddle, okay, all of those you can do that. And if you need to filter the water to get the, the crap out of it, the crud, dirt and you know particles, you can use uh, a cloth, a shirt or whatnot. When it's filled with water, you just screw this down in here, okay, making sure that the, the part that touches your mouth is never touches the contaminated water, and you are good to go. This holds 650 milliliters of uh, water, or 65% of a, of a liter, and you are good to go with drinkable water by Life Straw. It's a great product. I, I do have the links on my gear page if, if anybody wants to purchase that and, and support the support this blog. Um, the last and certainly the oldest way um, of purifying water is to boil it. Now this is a very easy to carry this in your backpack. It fits in any small little um, compartment and you could reuse your existing water bottles if you want. This is uh, $35, $40 is not the cheapest option and obviously boiling water requires a heat source and a pot. So I do have a little camping stove that's self-contained and you can open this up here and the lid comes off and in inside I actually have the cooking elements and here are the uh, fuse, fuel cells. So you actually will need a cigarette lighter of some sort or matches, uh, part of your survival kit if you're going to be carrying a stove. The fuel goes right here in the bottom 
okay in here and you would light that and the lid could either be on the bottom of it you put the stove right on top of here you light the fire underneath here and in about eight minutes you have boiled water okay and you even have a lid you could eat out of this if you wanted to make soup or some other type of food oatmeal or whatever whatever you're doing it's a great little compact stove for one person i have used these under boil water advisories um uh, uh, post hurricanes or tropical storms not because i needed it because i do keep uh approximately 50 gallons of water in stock in my house at all times in various size water jugs but to test the gear in real life situations so when I'm, if I'm ever in the field, I know how to use everything that I have. So those here are three excellent water purification um, techniques. Again, Aquatab, port portable aqua tablets. So I think a two pack is like eight bucks on Amazon. A life straw. Okay, this is their top of the line hiking one. It's about 35, 40 bucks. I forget what the exact price is. Also on Amazon and you can get this at any camping supply rei is a is a great place for a mini camping stove it comes with its own little travel sack uh that i already took it out of because it's a little bit of a pain in the neck to get that out while you're fumbling around on video well that's it that will have you hydrated clean potable safe drinking water and of course even this you could actually use to melt snow as long as it's not yellow snow but if you are melting snow after you do that you, you boil it and it should be safe to drink all right well stay tuned we'll have more and more exciting videos about our adventures my adventures and hopefully your adventures as well uh do subscribe we i want to get my numbers up there on the subscriptions and i look forward to your feedback in the comments later